mode for grouped frequency distribution. Mode is nothing but observation which occurs most frequently. That is, observation having maximum frequency is called as mode. Now, let us see how to calculate mode in case of grouped frequency distribution. We have to follow the following steps. Steps Number 1. Find the maximum frequency, denote it by Fm. Number 2. Determine the class corresponding to Fm. This is called as modal class. Number 3. Calculate the value of mode by using the formula mode equals to L plus Fm minus F1 upon 2Fm minus F1 minus F2 into H where L is the lower limit of modal class Fm is maximum frequency F1 is frequency of pre-modal class F2 is frequency of post-modal class H is width of modal class Let us solve one example Following table shows frequency distribution of number of trees planted by students in the school Find modal number of trees planted Here Maximum frequency is 100. The corresponding class, namely 20 to 30, is modal class. Calculate the value of mode by using the formula mode is equal to L plus Fm minus F1 upon 2Fm minus F1 minus F2 into H. Where L is the lower limit of modal class, Fm is maximum frequency, F1 is frequency of pre-modal class. F2 is frequency of post-modal class. H is the width of modal class. Mode is equal to 20 plus 100 minus 70 upon 2 into 100 minus 70 minus 70 into 10 is equal to 20 plus 30 upon 200 minus 140 into 10 is equal to 20 plus 300 upon 60 is equal to 20 plus 5 is equal to 25. Modal number of trees planted is 25. Merits and demerits of mode. Merits. Number 1. It is simple to understand. Number 2. It is easy to calculate. Number 3. It is not affected by extreme values. Number 4. In case of ungrouped data, it can be determined just by inspection. Number 5. It can be determined graphically. Demerits. Number 1. It is not based on all the observations. Number 2. It is not capable of further mathematical treatment. Number 3. It is not unique. Number 4. It may not exist. Number 5. It cannot be determined in case of grouped frequency distribution if modal class is at the end of the distribution. Exercise 5.3 Question 1 The weight of coffee in 70 packets is given below. Determine the modal weight of coffee in a packet. Solution Here, in upper problem, Maximum frequency is 26. The class 201 to 202 is called modal class. Here, L is equal to 201, Fm is equal to 26, F1 is equal to 12, F2 is equal to 20, H is equal to 1. We know the formula for mode is equal to L plus Fm minus F1 upon 2Fm minus F1 minus F2 into H. Substituting the values in the above formula, we get is equal to 201 plus 26 minus 12 upon 2 into 26 minus 12 minus 20 into 1 is equal to 201 plus 14 into 1 upon 52 minus 12 minus 20 is equal to 201 plus 14 
upon 20 is equal to 201 plus 0 0.7 is equal to 201.7. Therefore, modal weight of coffee in packet is 201.7. Question 2. The following table shows frequency distribution of body weight of fish in a pond. Find modal body weight of a fish in a pond. Solution. Here class intervals are of inclusive type. For calculation of mode, we have to make them exclusive type. After doing this, frequency distribution is as follows. Decrease lower limit by 0 0.5 and increase upper limit by 0 0.5. Here, maximum frequency is 8. Corresponding class 16.95 to 17.95 is modal class. Here, L equals to 16.95, FM is equal to 8, F1 is equal to 4, F2 is equal to 6, H is equal to 1. Mode is equal to L plus FM minus F1 upon 2FM minus F1 minus F2 into H. Substituting the values in above formula we get 16.95 plus 8 into 4 upon 2 into 8 minus 4 minus 6 into 1 is equal to 16.95 plus 4 upon 16 minus 10 into 1 is equal to 16.95 plus 4 upon 6 is equal to 17.61. The body weight of a fish in a pond is given by mode is equal to 17.61 grams. Relation between measures of central tendency. We have studied three measures of central tendency mean, median and mode. There exists an empirical relationship among these three measures. The relationship is given by mean minus mode is equal to 3 into mean minus median. From the above relationship, we can determine the value of mode approximately. If values of two measures of central tendency are known, we can use above relationship to find the value of remaining measures of central tendency approximately. Let us look at an example. For a certain frequency distribution, values of mean and median are 62.6 and 62.5 respectively. Find the value of mode. Solution, mean minus mode is equal to 3 into mean minus median. Therefore, 62.6 minus mode is equal to 3 into 62.6 minus 62.5. 62.6 minus mode is equal to 3 into 0 0.1. 62.6 minus mode is equal to 0 0.3. Therefore, mode is equal to 62.3. Let us solve the sums from exercise 5.4. Question 1. For a certain frequency distribution, the values of mean and mode are 54.6 and 54 respectively. Find the value of median. Solution. Given mean is equal to 54.6, mode is equal to 54. Find median. We know the relationship that mean minus mode is equal to 3 into mean minus median. Substituting the values for mean and mode, we get 54.6 minus 54 is equal to 3 into 54.6 minus median. 0 0.2 is equal to 54.6 minus median. Therefore, median is equal to 54.6 minus 0 0.2 is equal to 54.4. The value of median is equal to 54.4. Question 2. For a certain frequency distribution, the value of mean is 101 and median is 100. 
find the value of mode. Given mean is equal to 101, median is equal to 100. Find mode. Solution. We know the relationship that mean minus mode is equal to 3 into mean minus median. Substituting the values of mean and median in equation, we get 101 minus mode is equal to 3 into 101 minus 100. 101 minus mode is equal to 3 into 1. 101 minus mode is equal to 3. Mode is equal to 101 minus 3 is equal to 98. Therefore, the value of mode is 98. Now let us solve problem set. Question 1. Record of number of days of medical leave taken by 30 employees within a year is given below. Number of days 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50. Number of employees 5, 7, 11, 4, 3. Find mean number of days of medical leave taken by an employee in a year. Solution. Let us solve this sum by direct method. Let us prepare a table with four columns. Write number of days that is class intervals in column 1 and number of employees FI in column 2. Column 3 is the corresponding class marks XI and column 4 is the multiplication of column 2 and column 3 that is FI XI. It is given that Summation of Fi is equal to 30 and summation of Fi Xi is equal to 680. Thus, mean X bar is equal to summation of Fi Xi upon summation of Fi. By substituting the values, we get X bar is equal to 680 upon 30. Therefore, X bar is equal to 22.67 days. Thus, mean number of days of medical leave taken by an employee in a year is 22.67 days. Question 2. Frequency distribution of duration of 500 telephone calls received at a telephone exchange on a certain day is given below in a table. Find mean duration of telephone call received at telephone exchange. Solution. Let us draw a table containing six columns. Write duration of calls in column 1 and in column 2 corresponding average calls XI. Write the values of DI in column 3 where DI is equal to XI minus A where A is the assumed mean which is taken from column 2. Write the values of ui is equal to xi minus a upon h is equal to di upon h in column 4. Write number of calls fi that is frequency in column 5. Here, summation of fi ui is equal to 261. Summation of fi is equal to 500. Here we have H is equal to 15 and A is equal to 67. Thus, U bar is equal to summation of FI UI upon summation of FI is equal to 261 upon 500. U bar is equal to 0 0.522. X bar is equal to A plus H into U bar is equal to 67 plus 15 into 0 0.522 is equal to 74.83. Thus, mean duration of telephone calls received at the telephone exchange is equal to 74.83 seconds. Question 3. Number of calories consumed daily by a sample of 15-year-old boys are given below. Obtain mean calories consumed daily by a boy by step deviation method. Solution. Let us draw a table containing six columns. Write calories consumed daily in column 1 and average XI in column 2. 
in column 3, rad di is equal to xi minus a, where a is the assumed mean. Values of ui is equal to di upon h is to be written in column 4, where h is the width of class interval. Write the frequency fi of the given number of boys in the column 5. Here, Summation of fi ui is equal to 2 and summation of fi is equal to 93. We have a is equal to 2750 and h is equal to 500. Thus, u bar is equal to ratio of summation of fi ui upon summation of fi is equal to 2 upon 93 equal to 0 0.0215 thus x bar is equal to a plus h into u is equal to 2750 plus 500 into 0 0.0215 is equal to 2760.75 thus mean calories consumed daily by a boy is 2760 0.75. Question 4. For frequency distribution of distance travelled in kilometers per litre of petrol by different mopeds is given below. Obtain modal distance travelled per litre by a moped. Solution. Let us draw a table. Here, maximum frequency Fm is equal to 35. L is the lower class limit of modal class interval equal to 74. Corresponding class is 74 to 77. While F1 is the pre-modal class frequency equals to 28 and F2 is the post-modal class frequency equals to 10, H is the width of class equals to 3. Thus, mode is equal to L plus in bracket fm minus f1 upon 2 into fm minus f1 minus f2 bracket closed into h. By substituting the values we get 74 plus in bracket 35 minus 28 upon 2 into 35 minus 28 minus 10 into 3 is equal to 74 plus in bracket 7 upon 70 minus 28 minus 10 into 3 is equal to 74 plus in bracket 7 upon 32 into 3 is equal to 74.65. Thus, modal distance travelled per litre by a moped is 74.65 kilometres. Question 5. Following table gives frequency distribution of electricity consumption of a household in certain area in a month. Find modal number of units of electricity consumed by households in a month. Solution. Let us draw a table. Here, maximum frequency FM is 65. The corresponding class interval is 60 to 80. Therefore, L is the lower limit of this interval is equal to 60. H is the width of the class is equal to 20. F1 is pre-modal frequency equals to 47. F2 is post-modal frequency is equal to 8. Thus, mode is equal to L plus in bracket Fm minus F1 upon 2 into Fm minus F1 minus F2 into H. By substituting the values, we get mode is equal to 60 plus in bracket 65 minus 47 upon 2 into 65 minus 47 minus 8 into 20 is equal to 60 plus in bracket 18 upon 130 minus 47 minus 8 into 20 is equal to 60 plus in bracket 18 upon 75 into 20 is equal to 64.8. Thus, modal number of units of electricity consumed by households in a month 
is 64.8 units. At a glance, number one, mean of grouped frequency distribution. To find mean of group frequency distribution, it is assumed that the frequency of each class is concentrated at its class mark. Direct method, mean x bar is equal to summation of fi xi upon summation of fi, where xi is equal to class mark of ith class interval, fi is equal to frequency of ith class interval. Assumed mean method or shift of origin method. Mean is equal to x bar is equal to a plus d bar, where d bar is equal to summation of fi di upon summation of fi. a is equal to assumed mean, di is equal to xi minus a for each i. Step deviation method or shift of origin and scale method. Mean x bar is equal to a plus h into u bar, where u bar is equal to summation of fi ui upon summation of fi. ui is equal to xi minus a upon h is equal to di upon h for each i. a is equal to assumed mean. h is equal to width of class interval. Number 2. Median for grouped frequency distribution. Cumulative frequency distribution less than type table should be prepared. If n is the total frequency, locate the class whose cumulative frequency less than type is just greater than or equal to n upon 2. This class is a median class. Median of grouped frequency distribution is calculated by using the formula median is equal to L plus in bracket N upon 2 minus CF into H upon F where L is equal to lower limit of median class, N is equal to total frequency, CF is equal to cumulative frequency less than type of the class preceding median class, H is equal to width of median class, F is equal to frequency of median class. Number 3. Mode of grouped frequency distribution. Locate the class having maximum frequency. This class is called as modal class. Mode is calculated by using the formula mode is equal to L plus in bracket FM minus F1 upon 2 into FM minus F1 minus F2 into H where L is equal to lower limit of median class, FM is equal to maximum frequency, F1 is equal to frequency of pre-modal class, F2 is equal to frequency of post-modal class, H is equal to width of modal class. Number 4. Empirical relation between mean, mode and median. Mean minus mode is equal to 3 into mean minus median.